Urien Timber is a player who is heavily linked with a move to Manchester United. A 20-year-old centre-back has emerged under Eric Ten Hag and become a staple in that Ajax team. They might have lost Matthias De Ligt, but he came through the academy and he's now been heavily linked with a move to Manchester United. What I'm going to do in this series, is called the Full Story Series here on United People's TV. What I do is I dive into the actual rumours, the reports, where they came from, where they started. Are they reliable? Is Timber going to be moving to Manchester United? That's what I'm going to run through in this video for you to hopefully help you understand what's going on and whether or not to trust the story. And also, we're then going to take a look at Timber, where he could fit inside this United team and why I think he would be an outstanding signing for Manchester United. So make sure you do. Please consider to subscribe to United People's TV. I'll be doing plenty of these across the summer. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. I'm going to do these with as many different targets as we're linked with because there are a lot of them. And if you go back towards the start of April before the Ten Hag announcement was actually made, Anthony and Julian Timber were named as the two players that he would like to bring to United from Ajax if he was going to make a move. And as you can see, Mike Vervage has been, I wouldn't say leading the, the, the story here with, with Timber, but when it comes to the reliable sources, he is the man that we're listening to. Uh, he writes for the Telegraph, uh, who is considered uh, the strongest uh, Dutch source when it comes to Ten Hag. Knew everything that was going on with Ten Hag throughout the story. So on the 4th of April, he's saying there that Ten Hag wants to bring Timber to Manchester United. And I suppose this is when United fans started to get excited about the idea of Timber coming to United. And then only a few days later... Also writing for The Telegraph out in Holland, Marcel van der Kran, a Dutch journalist, was interviewed on Sky Sports. And this is what he had to say about players either in the Eredivisie or Ajax that, that Ten Hag would be interested in bringing to the club. This is what he said. Well, I have to go back to those Ajax fans who would be gutted to see Ten Hag leave. But they would be even more gutted if he takes two of their best players. One is a defender, Jurian Timber who's made his debut in the Dutch national team, who's been excellent and rapidly developing, quick thinker, quick on the ball, and very, very quick feet, like most Ajax players coming from their own academy. Tim he is the name that a lot of United fans are really talking about. It's, it's going to be between Timber and Anthony. And I think it's only fair to really start by looking at the Ajax players who could come to Old Trafford with Ten Hag as a starting point for our full story series this summer. But following on from that, Fabrizio Romano weighed into the situation. He said that he is somebody who United are looking at. They will look to get a centre-back. And also, he mentioned Calvin Phillips back at the 7th of April. And then you've got Rob Dawson here on the 25th of April, taking it a little bit of a step further, saying intermediaries acting on United's behalf have also been in touch with Ajax about the availability of Yuri and Timber. So as you can see there, the story sort of developed from, I suppose, at the start of April, where he was simply getting linked with a move to a few weeks later, ESPN and Rob Dawson there saying the Man United are sending intermediaries to at least have these conversations in the same way that we're sending intermediaries to talk about Calvin Phillips from Leeds. And remember, there was Mark Ogden and Rob Dawson who led the way with the Ten Hag story about his appointment and the fact that United had chosen him. So let's not dismiss what he had to say. Urien Timber was actually asked about Ten Hag's appointment at Old Trafford. And this is what he actually had to say. He said, I'm good at Ajax. I can still learn a lot, especially if we continue to play in the Champions League. But he said, Ten Hag deserves it. Ten Hag has been very important to me personally. Under him, I became the footballer, the man I am today. The coach talked to me a lot. He's been very critical in a good, constructive way. I won't forget it anytime soon. So he's really crediting... Eric Ten Hag would be in a fundamental reason as to how he is the player he is today and why he is the player he is today. Now, when it comes to looking at Manchester United's weaknesses, someone like Timber, you could see stepping in exactly because a big thing about our signings this summer, they have to be profiled. It's not just about signing the biggest name centre-back, the most expensive centre-back, and that's going to be the best solution for United. It's simply not the case. So an important thing that we need to do here is compare what sort of centre-back he is. And if we're looking at the team, it's more likely that he's going to replace Lindelof than Varane. Hypothetically, of course. Maguire, I don't know what's going on with him. But this is what Vedder Lindelof is saying stat-wise. You know, if you look at his strengths, assists, pass completion, Progressive carrying is decent with dribbling. I actually think Lindelof will... I, don't, I, I wouldn't rule Lindelof out from improving quite a lot under Ten Hag. But compare that 
the urine timber. Now, of course, Ajax and United do play different styles of football, but he's literally in the top one percentile, basically, for passes, attempted, completed, progressive passes, progressive carries, dribbles, progressive passes received. He is a very, 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 and I say very a few times because it is, <laughs> I do mean that, a very progressive centre-back. He is comfortable at bringing the ball up the pitch. And all we've got to do, really, is take a look at how Manchester United would line up with Timber there. And you can see where he slots in. It's very simple. He goes straight in there. Or maybe it's not as simple as that, actually, which I'll show you in a second. Timber is the sort of player who will be able to receive the ball and bring it up the pitch. He'll be able to receive the ball and pass it and spray it wide. And he's got an excellent reputation of doing that. The reason I say that maybe it's not so straightforward, Timber, and actually another reason why I think he would be a fantastic signing, let's take a look at his stats from his positions and where he's played in his career. You can see that overwhelming majority of his games have come at centre-back, but he's played nearly 50 games at right-back for Ajax. And that versatility is another reason why I think United fans like the idea of Urien Timber coming in. And maybe it's... Maybe it's not that at all. Maybe, hypothetically, we don't sign a centre-back, right? Maybe he comes in and actually operates more as a right-back for United instead of a centre-back. And maybe that, maybe that could make more of a difference to this United starting eleven than him coming in at centre-back. It's something to consider anyway. But in my opinion, of all, of all the transfers that we've been linked with after the appointment of Eric Ten Hag, I think it's the Uri and Timber one, to me, that makes most sense. Twenty, he's a player who came through under Ten Hag, a player who knows the Ten Hag system. And when it comes to implementing this system at Manchester United, I've said this to you before, he's going to need players, like whether it's Timber there, whether it's maybe Donny van der Beek, obviously not going to come in for Bruno, but he's going to need players who know how to play inside his system, the right profile of players. Not many of them exist inside this United squad at all. And I think Timber would be absolutely fantastic on paper. So as I said, we're looking at where the story's got to at the moment. It started from him simply being linked with a move to Manchester United. And it developed to the point where Rob Dawson is saying that intermediaries are having the initial conversations over a move for Timber to United. So it's certainly developing. And I think we're going to see, pro I think we'll see movement on this one. I'd be very surprised if Manchester United didn't go in for him. You've got Mark, Mike Vavage here, who, as I said, works with the Telegraph, who's probably considered the most reliable source when it comes to uh, Ajax News, saying that Ten Hag wants him. And if, you, and if you just, as I said, we go back to reading that and, and listening to what he said about Ten Hag. Ten Hag has been very important to me personally. He, under him, I became the footballer and the man that I am today. They really do have a strong relationship, Urien Timber and Eric Ten Hag. And as I said, that T Timber was that player who, when De Ligt was moved on to Juventus and um, they brought in Martinez and then Blim was moved to left back over Tagliafico, then Timber came through from the academy and he's, he's grown and he's now broken into that Dutch national team. He's a baller. And I've watched the last few games of, the, of Ni uh, Ajax, 90 minutes of him, and he's a proper baller. I've watched him a few, a couple of times over the season. I haven't really been focusing on individuals when I've been watching the Ajax team side. I've been looking more at how Ajax play, but Timber looks good. And that is the full story of the links to him from where they started to where they are at the moment and why I think there's real credibility behind the idea that Eric Ten Hag could make a move for him and make him maybe his first signing at Manchester United. And look, I know that we could put him in at centre-back here, but you can also put Timber in at right-back because all we've got to do is take a look at his stats. And that versatility is another tick in the box as to why Timber will be a good signing, I think, anyway. You let me know what you think about the, the, the Urien Timber sign, the, the story, the transfer story, whether you think he's going to come to United. I think he will. That's what my gut is telling me. If he's going to sign one player from uh, Ajax, I think it will probably be Urien Timber ahead of Anthony. That's what my spidey sense is saying. No in the know, just what I think. But you let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Timber will be a good signing? Do you think we will sign him? And if we do sign him, do you think we play more as a centre-back or a right-back? Or do you think he'd switch in between the two? That's an interesting conversation to have as well. But there's no doubt that Ten Hag loves him. There's no doubt that Timber loves Ten Hag. So if he wants to make it happen, I think he could. Do you let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to United People's TV. As I said, I'm going to be restarting this full story series. We're going to be taking a look at Anthony, maybe Chuamene, Pau Torres, Ruben Neves, Calvin Phillips. There's lots to discuss. And if you've got any other suggestions, you let me know in the comments below, as you always do.
Take it easy, everyone.